Okay, so here we are at our school website, PS221Q period RG. So to log into Teach Hub, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click on here, NYC Student Accounts and Teach Hub. I'm going to click on that link. Now, if this is the first time you're logging into Teach Hub, you're going to scroll down and you're going to click on Students, find your username, reset your password. Now we're at the student self-service section. So what you have to do is you have to put in your OSIS number and your date of birth uh, of the student. So what you're going to do is if you do not know your OSIS number, which is a nine-digit number, please contact the school. Mrs. Kirchhofer will be able to provide you with this. And once she gives you the OSIS number, you put in the student month of their birthday, the day, and the year, and then you will proceed to the next step. When you get to this screen, the username is going to be shown. So please write down your username. Okay, when you get to this screen, please write that down so that you can remember the username for the student account. The next step in the process is to enter in a new password. So you're going to put in your new password and then you're also going to put it in a second time to confirm you have the right password. So please write down your username and your password so you have it for your records. And now you're going to have to sign in. So now you're going to click sign in. And now you're going to enter in your username and then the password that you just created. So you enter in your username and you enter in your password. And then you're going to click sign in. If you click on Google Classroom, you can see the students' assignments from their teachers. And you can also submit the work for the students online electronically. Let's take a look at Google Classroom since that's going to be the app the students use the most. So let's click on Google Classroom and then you're going to uh, verify that that's the correct account that you want to use and just make sure that that's the account that you want and then you're going to click continue. Then you're going to click the uh, next button to go to the next screen and you're going to click continue and you're going to click on student. Now, when, you, when you're at this screen, if you need to join a class, you're going to click on the plus on the top right where it says join your class. You click on the plus, and then you can enter a class code to join a class. So if you need to join a class, you can do it that way. However, if your teacher already sets it up for you, you won't even have to do this step. So if your teacher gives you a class code, you would click the plus and join through the class code. If not, you will see your class show up. So here's an example of a class that was already set up for the students. So if you see this screen, that means the teacher already entered your child into the class and all you have to do is click join.